Hey, welcome back to Robocraft. I just can't wait to share my excitement for this thing until I'm finished building it. I can't really get a look at it. Um, <laughs> I, I uh, made enough money and tier 10 cubes to buy the movement items for the Omega bot. I have no desire to play as a Omega bot. It does not look like fun being the center of attention and having people drive up behind you and get stuck underneath your wheels. But um, what are these things? A million each? No, they're 800 grand. So that's not that crazy. You know, you look, I own, ten, you know, nine. I own nine and six. Look at these, what those cost, you know. That that was huge. Back in the t back at the time when I bought them, because that was the only movement items I had was hovers and a few wheels. Anyway, um, so there's no treads and there's no thrusters. Oh, in TX1, you know, it's just wheels and now the hovers. I mean, I don't know what they've got planned out, what the roadmap is on this, but um, the wheels have like unlimited mass potential. But when I'm not driving around, they're always wheeling and flipping and getting stuck. You know, it seems like you really got to think about the way the chassis works. So the first thing I did was just make like a, a <laughs> you know, a monster truck style chassis where the, 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 you know, the axles and ladder frame and everything kind of angles up. So there's more ground clearance. And then just drove that around and saw if it got stuck. And it kind of doesn't much, you know, much more than you'd think. Um, like here's what uh, I see the Megabots keep getting stuck up by they'll be really wide and then they'll go in something like this this is the perfect example of a Megabot a trap and then the wheels hang up on either side and they're done even if they flip it or you know uh, alignment rectify it it'll just uh, you know dance around in the same area and still be stuck and uh, it's game over man <laughs> you're a turret so, you know, I, I think about gun placement and stuff like uh, really, really far down the list. Like movement is like the very first thing I work out. I make like, I call it a body in white, you know, and then because uh, it's made out of white cubes. Uh -huh. um, and then I drive it around and I, I mess around with the wheelbase and the number of hovers, or wheels or thrusters, whatever they are, and then start adding weight. And then usually you have to do a lot of rethinking and refiddling because once you start actually making something heavy, it ruins it. Um, of course, with this thing here, no matter how many cubes you put on top, it's always going to be bottom heavy, it seems like, with these, as much as these wheels weigh. Um, it's a lot of fun. I seriously spent, like, I, I feel like a, a little kid, uh, like 30 minutes just driving this thing around in practice after I built it. <laughs> so I, I guess those aren't AK-47s. It's supposed to be, like, oh, it's really crude, the profile of a pickup truck. I was just trying to rough it out from memory, um, <laughs> you know, so it could look like Bigfoot. But um, I realize that's going to take so many cubes that it won't it won't be able to do anything but a megabot, you know. I was hoping that you could still fit it under 1500, so that uh, you know I could join a normal match. Anybody's going to be mad at you when you have a cosmetic build and not a lot of guns or any. <laughs> I uh, I think it's valid to distract the enemy. If they're looking at you and shooting at you, then uh, they're not worried about uh, the people that are actually doing the DPS. Anyway, that's my thoughts. So, this is just to make you jealous. If you're grinding cubes and you really want the TX1 wheels, they're really cool. <laughs> they, uh, they're, they're very fun. And uh, I'm actually, you know, they've made me more excited about TX1 than I, I had otherwise been. Um, I can't mess around with the hovers uh, unless I make a Megabot um, or, or spend an insane amount of GC converting tech points to Uber tech points. By the way, I don't know if you've ever noticed that option or thought about it, but back in the day, that was one of the few things that I think was a good thing to actually spend GC on. Um, where's that at? Not RoboShop. Oh, right, in the tech tree. 
yeah so oh god i have a lot of stars but you know if you if you uh if you're in tier three for instance and you've got you can buy tier four cubes when you're in tier three or you used to be able to and you're buying tier three and tier four cubes but everybody around you has tier five guns and you want tier five guns that's a totally valid thing to do i used to upgrade my chassis cubes first so i'd always be ahead of the game and then that I was able to leapfrog. So I spent a lot of money on a lot of cubes, but I skipped some of the tiers. So I, I've got hundreds of browns and hundreds of greens and oranges and a few blues and a lot of yellows and reds. And then I went right to right to blacks. And that saved me, you know, jillions. Uh, and the way I did that was with GC. I only spent a little bit. I think I only spent $5 in the first, like, six months I played Robocraft. I only put the 5 bucks in. Because I didn't buy any premium or cosmetic items, I just used it on repairs, because that was a thing back then. You'd lose a lot of RP if you didn't repair your robot with GC now and then, if you were in tier ten. And then um, to convert these, because if you just have a few of them and you're going up from tier three to four, five, six, um, it's a reasonable amount, and it'll kick you over. And then you can start spending your RP on something that's not you're not going to have to turn around and and, and not need, because um, having every single color of, of cube is is annoying to me. And I like when I'm I'm in my palette here to only have a few to choose from. In fact, I'm annoyed that I've got this one wolf prism here. I should sell it. <laughs> you know, I just wanted to see how red it was compared to the already red cubes and black red cubes. Uh, and same with like when they had those green cubes that came out a while ago. I was like, oh no, definitely. I, I've already, you know, I don't want to have to think about where to put the green cubes on my thousand cube red block builds. All right, anyway, I'm rambling. There's my monster truck. Have fun. See ya.